Hi there, I'm Mike. What I have for you today is another Loot Crate. This is January 2021 Loot Crate, and it is currently 10 o'clock at night on January 31st. So that counts, I guess. Let's go ahead and see what January has in store for us from Loot Crate. As always, now is a QR code on how to look and see what's in here. Um, I actually looked it up beforehand this time. I thought about it for a second before just jumping in and making a video. And this is the pin from the month. This is Kapow, which is the, uh, I guess that's the theme for the month. Kapow! That's kind of a, it's a fun theme. I'm just gonna be honest. Uh, I actually like this, like a little fight cloud, I guess is the best way to, uh, to really describe that. It's got a thwack, it's got a wow, or a pow, it's a pow, and a crash. It's very comic book Batman-esque while also just being um, kind of a cartoony, you know, fight thing going on. I like it, it's a fun one. Uh, next, we're gonna get into the shirt. Let's go ahead and give this the old college try, and which means that I go for like a week or two and then, you know, just stop going altogether. Let's try it on. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, 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 chills. Can I get aroused from wearing a shirt? My nipples seem to think so, that's for sure. Look at this He-Man shirt. This is a great shirt. We got He-Man, we got Castle Grayskull, we got Skeletor. This is a fantastic shirt that I will cherish for, I don't know, probably years to come. I don't really know how long my shirts last anymore. I've got so many, I only wear them once every couple months, so. Just kind of how having a large t-shirt collection works now. But when this comes up, I'm going to be looking forward to wearing it. It's a good color. I like the three different colors in the middle. I'm going to guess orange, yellow, purple, but again, colorblind, no idea. Is this green or brown? You guys tell me in the comments, uh, and then you can make fun of the fact that I can't see colors. It's fine. I'm used to it. I'm 38 years old. A fact of life for me. Next, we have another one of these things. We got one last month, and it was the Spider-Man, and this one is Venom. Now, I like these. These are fun because they're cool homages to old style figures while also not being an older style figure. It's a very fun display piece. I'll pop that right there so you can see it. This one is Venom. You can see it only has like half the figure in there, but it's just, it's cool. I like this. I really hope they branch out. There's nothing on the back there, but I hope they branch out and do something other than like Marvel things. I don't, it's not that I hate Marvel things. I like this so much. There's just things I'd love to see like this. Star Wars would be awesome. The old X-Men, the Toy Biz X-Men would be awesome. So stuff like that, I think that would be a fun little thing. But so far the two I've got, the Spider-Man, which I was pretending is in this hand, but obviously not. That's weird. And uh, and Venom, it's, just, it's classic, you know, 80s, 90s Venom. That's, that's so good. I like this. This is, this is a fun thing. I'm gonna give kudos to Loot Crate. You were doing really poorly for a while, but I feel like you've uh, you sort of turned it around recently, which is kind of nice. Let's see if the rest of that holds true while I figure out how to put this back together. Next, we have uh, some sort of cloth. I'm guessing it's probably another um, handkerchief or whatever. Yep, it is. Okay, so you know how this works. What is this? What do we got? It is Flawless Victory, 25%. Oh, it's Mortal Kombat. There's a little arcade right there in the corner. I'm having to do this, like looking through it to see if it's centered on the camera, which is weird. This is Flawless Victory. It's got little quarter slots. Just to kind of show it off, I'm gonna have to just wrap this around my head because why not? It's harder than it looks. It's not, I'm just really bad at it. <laughs> I did a really bad job on that, like super bad. It's so bad that it's starring Jonah Hill and Michael Cera. That's how super bad this is. Uh, it's fine, you can only see part of it when I set up like this anyway. You just pretend that I did it right. That's just how that's gonna work. It's a handkerchief, but you can use it however you want. You can use it like a tablecloth. You can just hang it on your wall as just something to be on your wall. You can put it on your collecting shelf just to put your figures on top of it so it's not just shelves. There's a lot of things you can do with these. I tend to do nothing with them. And then finally, the last item in the box. It is a soap keychain that says Fight Club. It's fine. I've seen the movie once, never, I mean, I get it. It's just, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan. It's, I feel like it's kind of one of those movies that's like, 
overblown. I, I'm not a big fan of, of this. I don't really have anything good to say about it, but I don't have anything bad to say about it. I guess it's a keychain, so, you know, hooray. But yeah, that's it. So the inside of the box is just, uh, it's like a fence with uh, with fists in it. It's a fist fence of fistants. I tried, that's what's important. But uh, hang tight and I'm gonna put a score together on this box and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so this is your first time watching this. Each thing in here is worth a point. There's four items in here, plus the theme and pin, which I'm counting as an item together. So it's up to five. Uh, perfect score is a five out of five. So let's go through these, and I'll give you my thoughts on them and the final score. So the shirt we're starting off with, 100% love the shirt. It's He-Man, which is a fantastic property. It's a good color. It's a good fit. I like it a lot. We're going to give that the full point. The handkerchief thing, not a, not a huge fan of handkerchiefs in general. I don't really have a super good use for them other than wearing them in videos like this, but I tend to just kind of put them in my closet somewhere and lose them. I'm sure there's like eight handkerchiefs in my closet of various things. I've got no idea where they are, what they are, or why they are. But at the same time, it's Mortal Kombat. I like that. It's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to give it a half point. It's not something I love, but it's not something I hate at the same time. This figure thing, I do love this. I want more of this. Loot Crate, if you're watching, and you've commented on some of my videos, if you're watching this Loot Crate, yes, more, please, good, Mwah. Full point. And the last item, this little keychain doodad fight club thing. I mean, I mean, it's fight club. So not my favorite property. And I don't know if there's anything they could have given me that would have fixed that. So it's just kind of doomed for me from the start. Uh, but the fact that it's a little tchotchke kind of thing like this, I'm going to give it a 0.25. It's something. It's better than nothing, I guess. But uh, it's just not something that really kind of piques my interest or holds my interest for that matter. And lastly, the theme and pins. So let's take a look at the properties we get. He-Man. Yeah. Kapow, sure, they fight, that's a whole thing. Mortal Kombat, heck yeah, they fight. There was like a whole thing about it with the legal system and the game rating systems and whatnot. So sure, Venom, yeah, Venom's a fight guy. Kapow is very generic. I'm just gonna, all I have to do is throw one punch in there, Kapow. Fight Club, well, not my favorite thing. Sure, it does fit the theme of Kapow. Again, a very loose theme, but definitely fight oriented. That just leaves this little uh, thing right here, the little pin, and this is a fun pin. I like it. I don't really always like pins in general. Pins aren't my favorite thing in the world, but they have been growing on me as I've been doing these boxes and whatnot. But uh, this is a fun pin. I'm just gonna hold it up there again. This is cool. I like this. So I'm gonna give the theme and pin a full point as well. So if I met this outright, that's gonna give us a 3.75 out of five, which is actually a pretty decent score to start off the new year. We ended last year with a decent box. We're starting this year off with a decent box. It's really not that bad. Thanks Loot Crate for sending out something decent. I mean, if you keep this quality similar like this for the whole year, I think you'll be set for a pretty good year. That's it for my unboxing of Loot Crate January 2021 Kapow. Let me know down in the downstairs area. What did you think of it? Did you like the box? Are you getting the box? Do you just like to watch me kind of catalog the maybe rise and fall of Loot Crate as the years go by? Was I too soft on this box? Did you not like it? Did you like it? I love to read and respond to all the comments. So let me know down in the downstairs area. I'd also like to take a moment to thank people here for supporting me on Patreon and unboxing level or higher. If you wanna see your name on here, you can hop over to my Patreon. It's pretty inexpensive and it does help out the channel a lot. If that's not your thing, there's a couple things down in the downstairs area that you can do to help out the channel. There's a YouTube membership you can join. You can also do things like like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for more notifications. And with that, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far. And I'll see you later. Bye.